today, I'm going to be talking about EV Starter. PZ Starter is a Lenzo software designed to connect to your drive via PC. You can use EV Starter with the Lenzo 8400, 9400, i700, or our new i500 series. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to use EV Starter with our new i500 series. To download EV Starter, go to www.lenzo.com. Once you are on this page, go to the download tab on the top and click on software downloads. As you can see, Lenza has a variety of software tools. I'm going to click on Easy Starter. I'm going to follow the software installation instructions. I'm going to save this file to my PC, unzip the file. Start the setup.exe file and follow the installation instructions. Once Easy Starter is installed, you can now open Easy Starter. Once Easy Starter opens, the display should look something like this. Today, we're going to be connecting the i500 to Easy Starter via USB module. At the bottom of the list, there's a simulation mode. Simulation mode is useful when you want to edit parameter sets and save it into a file without having the device physically in front of you. We're going to highlight the USB module option and hit insert. Once it is connected, you're able to see the type of drive that is connected to Easy Starter. In the toolbar, you can enable or inhibit your controller, as well as download parameter set from value, upload from device to file, save parameter set within device, and compare parameter sets. We'll be going into more of this later. In the Diagnostic tab, you're able to see common diagnostic parameters such as DC bus voltage, frequency set point, actual motor voltage and actual motor current, modes of operation, error code, cause of disable, as well as your heatsink temperature and your motor utilization. There is also a reset button error on this page. In the Settings tab, this is your basic setup page. These are the default settings in the drive. You're able to change your rated main voltage, default set point source, motor control, minimum and maximum frequency, as well as your acceleration and deceleration time. This page will also show the default function and IO setup. In the parameter list tab, you're able to see a list of parameters that are within the drive. You can edit the favorites by clicking group zero favorites and clicking this button, edit favorite parameter selection. As you can see, the parameter lists are grouped like the LCD keypad. Once this page pops up, you're able to edit favorites. For example, if you wanna add acceleration time two to your favorites, you're going to click on Group 2, Basic Setup, highlight Acceleration Time 2, and click this button. As you can see, it is now added to your favorites. To delete a parameter from your favorites, highlight the parameter and click this button. In the Trend tab, you are able to monitor common diagnostic parameters such as DC bus voltage, actual motor current, actual motor voltage, and actual velocity value. You can click this button to start recording and this button to stop recording. Now we're going to be talking about how to use some of the parameters. We're going to go in the settings page and change the maximum frequency to 60 hertz, as well as acceleration and deceleration time to 3 seconds. As you can see, it will show a message saying my parameter set has changed. To save these parameter sets within the device, click this button. Once these parameters are saved, the message will disappear. To upload a parameter set from your device to a GDC file, click this button. Once it is done reading the parameter set from the device, Click Save, 
you have the option to choose what parameters you want saved. I'm going to choose all and hit OK. I'm going to name this file test3 and hit save. Once it is saved, you can hit close. Now I'm going to be changing the device settings back to defaults. To do that, go into the parameter list tab, go to group 7 auxiliary functions, and in load factory setting, change this to on start. Go back to your settings page. As you can see, the parameters are set back to default. To upload a parameter set into your device, click this button, download parameter set from file to device. Highlight the file you want to upload, hit open, and hit start. Once it is finished, you can see my parameter set has changed and my maximum frequency as well as my acceleration and deceleration time are changed. You can also compare parameter sets by clicking this button, compare parameter sets. You can choose a reference for comparison. You can compare your device parameters to your factory settings, other devices if you have other devices connected, or a GDC file. I'll be comparing it with the factory settings. I'm going to hit OK. Right now it's reading the parameter set from my device. Once it is finished, I'm going to click the compare button. Since I changed the maximum frequency and acceleration and deceleration time, I'm going to change, go to group 2. As you can see, these are the reference of default values, and these are the values in my drive. 